Welcome back. It is week two of West Side Elite. I'm Ryan Terpstra. This is Scout.com's Alan True, and we are here to talk about the happenings across the west side of the state of Michigan in high school football. And Alan, let's kick off with a game that you and I were both at. You saw it on State Champs, Wald Lake Western and Lowell. What a finish to this game. Give me a couple of your takeaways from both of these teams. One of the best high school games I think I've seen in recent years. Wald Lake Western, first of all, I think they're going to be a real contender on that side of the state. Another team you have to watch for. There's some strong teams uh, in their conference, in their area, but I don't know if too many people took them too seriously until now. They're definitely a team to be reckoned with. And for Lowell, I don't think you have anything to be ashamed of because I think that team you just lost to is really good. I looked at Lowell. I see a senior quarterback. I see a real playmaker in Gabe Steed. Uh, you obviously have a very experienced coach who's been there, won a lot of games, and they're going to win their share of games this year. They may not lose the rest of the season. So uh, if I was a Lowell football fan or a Lowell football player, I would not be too worried off of that first result. It was a ridiculous stat. I think they hadn't lost a home opener since 1993 <laughs> or something like that. 0-1, not familiar territory for Lowell. But as you mentioned, Ryan Stevens put some great numbers. Steed had 275-plus yard catches. What was confusing to me was Lowell wasn't running the ball, but, I mean, you know that that's going to happen later on in the year. Max Dean is a back that they're going to lean on a lot, and that line for Lowell is very big. They just ran into an equally big line of Wald Lake Western. Yeah, I think Coach Dean is a good coach, and he's going to coach to his strengths. In past years, they had quarterbacks who were a little more of the running type, and they ran a little more veer, a little inside veer. Now you have a kid in Stevens who can spread the ball around. You have a couple of receivers, not just Steve. Sawyer Lesko made a lot of plays, too. And so I think they're just coaching some of their strengths there. You were at East Kentwood Farmington Hills Harrison, one of the big wins for the west side of the state. Talk about what you saw from EK. Well, they always have great athletes, great track program over there. And you put some of those guys on the football field, they can really run. Their secondary is impressive. They have a couple of backs, a couple of receivers who can make some plays. Obviously, you have a huge offensive line. Uh, I think their junior quarterback, Evan Midday, is going to be a really good one. Already had a good first game. He's going to get better as the season goes along. So East Kentwood, that's a team that now has some momentum and some confidence. And I'm telling you, there's a whole bunch of athletes over there. Yeah, and another uh, big year maybe for them coming up in the OK Red. Grand Rapids Union, that is a school that actually you've had to pay a little attention to because of some guys that are getting some looks from a recruiting standpoint, but they hadn't won a game in a very long time. Finally got that win, running clock against Wyoming Lee. So congrats to Grand Rapids Union. Talk a little bit about what they've got going on over there. Well, you have to feel good for those kids, and obviously not just winning, but winning in the way they did. You don't see a whole lot of Division I commits that have never won a high school game before. That was the case with Keedron Davis going into that game. He's an excellent athlete. I talked to some other high school coaches around the state, some other schools that have seen him. Very impressive athlete, and he could play tight end, could play defensive end at the next level. Actually played some tailback for them last year. So that's what kind of athlete you get at six foot four, 215 pounds, uh, obviously going to the University of Toledo. I think he's going to be a really good player for them. And you have to feel good for him and the program to get that monkey off their back and get a win. Now they have West Catholic this week, so they can't celebrate that for too long. Yeah, and West Catholic is going to be looking to get Alf the Schneid as their own one after that Jackson Lumen Christie game that we covered as well. But congrats to them, especially for your senior year. You got to get that first victory for, uh, for Mr. Davis. A couple things stood out to me. I want to just bring up one of them, and that is Oak Ridge and Muskegon Catholic Central. Now, Muskegon Catholic, I expect them to have a great year, but to play Oak Ridge and then to see Oak Ridge put up the kind of numbers they did against Muskegon Catholic, it's pretty surprising to me. Anything stand out to you about uh, what happened in week one on the west side of the state? Well, I think it just shows anybody can beat anybody, especially week one when you come in off of the off season. Uh, you have some new faces and some new places. Just like we said with Lowell, uh, Muskegon Catholic Central is going to be fine. They just got themselves into a shootout similar to what the Red Arrows did. Now, Oak Ridge is not a team to be slept on. They have some athletes. They have some guys that can do some things in space. I know a couple of those guys impressed you. So they're going to be a team that can really roll up some points over the, the course of this season. Yeah, it'll be interesting to watch them. And they got Detroit Loyola this week. That will be a game that will probably be a nice litmus test for them in Week 2 as well. So Alan, of course, is the Midwest Recruiting Coordinator for Scout.com, and this week there's kind of a recruiting window that's opening up, so tell us a little bit about what's happening. Well, today's the first day juniors can get contact uh, with college coaches, and this is the age we live in now. A lot of that contact comes through Twitter, so a lot of college coaches have started following those juniors. We have some guys on this west side of the state already getting some contact. You have some guys already with some offers, Keegan Cuso um, and Evan Plate over at Greenville, Jonathan Berghorse at Zeeland East, but I think you have a bunch of guys who are waiting on that first offer who are going to see that process 
pick up quite a bit now. And that'll be the news we'll be bringing you on West Side Elite. The offers, the big stats, the big games. That's what we do here every week on StateChampsNetwork.com. For Alan True, I'm Ryan Terpstra, and thanks for the download.